Hold up for a while. This woman's door was kicked in by police when she refused to go to quarantine. Others in Shanghai smashed rotten vegetables in the street and performed so-called concerts with their pots and pans to express their frustration after weeks of life under lockdown in China's most populous city and economic capital. You have seen a lot of emotion, a lot of people angry, a lot of people sad, a lot of people depressed, a lot of people um, in despair. In videos that have bubbled up online, despite censors' efforts to take them down, acts of disobedience, unusual for China, show new challenges for Chinese authorities as they double down their policy trying to keep COVID-19 out of the country completely. The citywide lockdown began in late March as Shanghai tackled thousands of new cases a day, the biggest outbreak China has seen since the pandemic began. Some compounds had already been in lockdown before that. It's a city of 25 million people, and we've seen this remarkable stream of footage come out of, of Shanghai. Most of it filmed by ordinary people, amateurs on their on their on their smartphones. But they do reflect frustrations that we've all heard from people who are living there. In one video, a resident refused to cooperate with officials. <laughs> The woman who filmed and posted this video online said she tested positive, but the test needed to be reviewed. Police eventually took her away to quarantine. She didn't respond to requests for comment, but said in her post that the police later fixed the door. For weeks, Shanghai residents had expressed frustration online, but more protests have recently taken place in the physical world. Synchronized banging of crockery, dubbed the concerts, have been organized. This prompted the government to accuse unspecified foreign conspirators in warnings via WeChat and loudspeaker announcements. One sensitive issue that has infuriated citizens during the lockdown has been the supply of food. These vegetables were supposed to be distributed to hungry families locked in their homes. Instead, they rotted. In this scene, people can be seen complaining to a police officer who promises to investigate. These videos uploaded on platforms like WeChat and Weibo have been taken down and re-uploaded a number of times. Authorities have promised more food and vowed to punish those who've made mistakes with supplies. At least three officials have been fired for being slow to distribute food. These public flare-ups come as lockdowns impact businesses large and small. Factories for Tesla, Apple, and many others were shut down for periods of time during the lockdown, and companies warned of disruptions to their supplies. And while some people living and working in the city have continued to receive a salary from their employers, others have been left without pay. It's a very visible and high-profile city. It's、um, a city where you have both blue-collar workers. It's home to. Many of the most important factories in China, producing autos and producing a lot of other goods that get shipped around the world. It has the world's largest port. You also have、um, the white collar industries. Shanghai is the financial center of China. After six weeks of lockdown and a brief easing of rules for some residents to buy groceries and medicine, authorities in Shanghai have tightened restrictions again, even as COVID-19 cases in the city fall. Shanghai officials have thanked residents for their understanding and cooperation. The head of the World Health Organization said China should rethink its strategy in a rare rebuke. When we talk about the zero、um, COVID strategy,、uh, we don't think that it's sustainable, considering the behavior of the virus now and what we anticipate、uh, in the future. Unswayed by the WHO, China is sticking with its policy of eradicating COVID-19 completely, saying any relaxation of measures could allow the virus to rebound.